What is up guys? Welcome to the Computer Information Highway. This is going to be your Java programming tutorial number 23. And in this tutorial we are going to be beginning a new project. For this project we're going to be creating an... we're going to kind of be creating an address book of sorts. It's not going to be an address book, more like a phone book. Uh, it's just going to have names and numbers. Um, but the idea of this project is to get you accustomed with uh, using functions, working with larger groups of uh, code, like we're going to probably be working with I'd say four, five, six functions uh, maybe. So in the last one we were only using three. We're starting to expand out a little bit. We're also going to be moving into uh, file input and file output. So we're going to be getting into that as well. Um, but to start off we're just going to be creating a kind of just like a basic menu for uh, somebody to read. Um, so, or b just a basic menu that people can choose off of. So, let's get started with that. <coughs> so we have our main, uh, we have our main function right here. But, we're not going to be doing everything in the main function. We actually don't want to use main uh, very much. Most of the time, we don't want to be performing a lot of operations in there. It's just generally better so that it's easier to understand the flow of your program and it doesn't look like you're trying to compute an entire program in just one big long block of text. That's why we use functions. Um, and so to create our menu, first we're just going to be creating a class, or we're going to be creating a, uh, a function called display menu. There's, no, there's nothing going to be, it's not going to take any arguments. Uh, it's just going to be display menu, so let's go ahead and create that public st static void display menu. Alright, so when considering a menu, let's think about uh, what we want to be able to have this menu do. Maybe let's say we can call people, we can search for people, and maybe we can save a new contact. So let's do that. Let's just make a simple menu. Alright, what would you like to do? And then, uh, one, call contact. And for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to copy two and three. We're going to make this two. Let's see, what did we say we were going to do before? We're going to save contact and find number. Oh, make this a three. Alright. So this is just going to be like our basic uh, menu layout. Not too difficult. Just printing some stuff out to the screen. Um, in my in our last project, we learned uh, switches. So we're actually going to be using a switch to decide which which option they chose. Um, because we're going to be basing it off of the number right here. So maybe we should put a little note in here that says one, two, three, etc. As in, we're going to be taking one of these three. So, let's get some input. Well, we need to create our scanner object. Uh-oh. Alright, so we have our scanner object, of course. Make sure we import that. And we are going to say int choice equals in dot x int. Alright, and then afterwards we're going to have in dot next line. And let me explain this for you real quick. So whenever we're using our in from our scanner, we're, 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 we're reading the string of characters and what it's doing with next int is it's just reading in whatever the next integer is. It's hill, it doesn't actually read the end line, the like, uh, 
like the end line character or the the new line character. The new line character is backslash n, and I think in some things there's backslash zero, and I think that also is end. So whenever you're using next int, it doesn't look for that. It stops at after it's reached its first integer. That's why whenever um, that's why whenever you put like one space two, it takes both one and two. Uh, and stores it into the next uh, variable ahead of time. Uh, that might not make too much sense, but if we were to take this out, and I'll probably show you later. Here, I'm actually going to put a note in here. Break later. Break this later. Yeah. So I'm going to break this later so I can prove that to you guys, and I can show you exactly what's going on. What's going on. So we're going to create our switch of choice because we're going to be going through our choices and we're going to have case one break and then case two case three alright so we have we have our switch right here we have case one case two case three and break and in our default so let's go ahead and start filling some of this in mainly right now is we're just we're just going to be like putting in what we want to see we want to be asking what kind of information we're looking for and we're waiting for the response from the user for that information so let's give it some text choice one is call contact so Let's just say to them, who would you like to call? And actually, I'm going to put a new line character right in front of here because I, if this, if this runs multiple times, I want to, I want it to separate out, or I want it to not show up right after this statement, right after this find number. I want there to be a space so it looks a little bit neater. So who would you like to call? And we want it to be first name, last name. So this is all right. So this is going to be just some text. Yeah. All right. So let's do another one for this one. Uh, what is the name of the person you? would like to save alright yeah we, we want to put a space there that way it, it looks a little bit cleaner and then what is the phone number of the person you are saving. Uh, let's just say 1112223456. Alright, if you're in a different country or you want to include area codes, you can do that if you want. Um, or if you want to include country codes, you're more than welcome to. And then for the third one, this one is going to be find number, system out, current line, and what is the name of the person whose phone number you are searching? Alright, what is the name of the person whose phone number you are searching? So that's... yeah in these we're going to be creating some functions the first one's going to be a uh, call contact we're going to have save contact and we're going to have find number but to call a contact we need to know what their first and their last name is and then it's going to search and we're going to find that person and call them save only uh, sa save is going to have the first name and the last name and it's going to need the phone number so it can save this data uh, like I said earlier we're going to be using some uh, files for this so we want to save this and be able to come back to it and that's also why we have this find feature down here at the bottom. Um, 
so that we can just look up somebody's phone number. Uh, we don't necessarily have to call somebody because you don't always have that. You don't always need to call somebody if you're just searching for some of their information. So this is where I'm going to stop our video for this time. We got a pretty good start <coughs> on our menu and in the next one we're going to be probably setting up the, the major functions that we're going to be using. Um, it's just going to be a skeleton of them that way we know what to work with and what we have to come back to later. So stick around for the next video where we will be improving on our address for our phone book. So I will see you guys in the next video.